Okay, this is Dr. Krauss. I am, this is now like my eighth attempt. Windows and I don't necessarily get along. I am trying to um, make a video to show my robotic students this summer and my future mechatronics and control students how to get Python installed on their computers. Um, Python, uh, open source software is one of my personal passions and Python is um, just really a key part of how I think and work. The syntax is really clean. And it's just a really powerful language. There's a huge community user base out there and just lots and lots of good stuff. I use it for everything um, from dealing with transfer functions to large data sets to plotting and whatever I would previously have used MATLAB for or whatever. This is a really, really good program. The trick is that we don't, or language really, we don't just need Python. We need the um, scientific and plotting tools and the linear algebra matrix tools and all of that stuff. So you can go down and or dig around on the internet and find all of these different um, packages and install them separately. But the easiest thing to do is to search for Anaconda Python in your favorite search engine. And that will take you to store.continuum with two M's dot IO uh, slash whatever, whatever. And Anaconda, so Python is a snake, obviously, and Anaconda is a really big snake. And so Anaconda includes Python and all of the scientific tools that we need. So I'm going to click on this download Anaconda blue button. They are going to ask for your email. And that may freak some of you out if you're a privacy person. They send me maybe one email a month. It is not a big deal. Certainly you can filter that, whatever. And then when you hit submit, you're taken to this download page. Um, and Python 3 has been out for a really long time, and it would probably be perfectly, totally safe. And in a few semesters, I'll probably default to that. The fact that they're still defaulting to Python 2.7 makes me feel like not all of the scientific packages are completely switched over yet. So I'm going to click here and download Python 2.7. Actually, because this is like my eighth take of this video, um, it's actually just already trying to download. But the file should be called anaconda 2.2.0. And if you're watching this in future semesters, this number will probably change. Dash Windows dash x86 underscore 64. Um, and if you're a Mac person or a Linux person, you can do So just hit save here, and this would save the file um, a second time. I'm going to cancel it because I'm already saving it. Um, I think there are better ways to do Python installation in Linux or Mac, and so I'll try to make separate videos or at least brief explanations of those. And I'm going to pause this video for now while my download keeps going. It's got another five or seven minutes left. And so I'll come back and show the installation process. Though really, I'm just going to accept all the defaults, and it's going to create a C colon, uh, I think, slash anaconda slash Python 2.7 folder. Don't, please do yourself a favor, accept the defaults. Don't try to tell it where to install. Like, all of that stuff should be fine, but it just, Python is not a typical Windows program. Python is cross-platform, and it's smarter than Windows. Let it do its thing. You will thank me later. Um, I'll be back soon with the installation process.